The mission of the Arizona Science Center is to inspire, educate, and entertain, not hurt, not just joking. Oh boy, I better put these on. Okay, we're talking science today. I've got my goggles, my gloves, and now I'm getting nervous, but I shouldn't be. Dustin you not be nervous. is here You're... from the Arizona Science Center. What are we, what are we doing? Oh, uh, we are playing with liquid nitrogen. Oh, uh, playing. Playing, you like okay. to play, right. um, and you're perfectly stuff. safe. We have all the safety equipment necessary. Okay. Um, liquid nitrogen is obviously the liquid form of nitrogen gas, and it's 320 degrees below zero, hence the gloves, goggles. Got it. Um, you can do some really fun stuff with it. It expands, <laughs> it takes up a lot more room as it warms up, turns back into a gas. So the first thing we're gonna do is have a bubble blowing contest. Okay. So it's... what I need you to do is grab that straw. And let's face it, kids think this is cool. This is how this is how they get into well, it's science. 320 degrees below zero, so it's really cool. <laughs> Da -dum -bum. Yeah, thank you. All right, so grab your straw. Okay, you got, got my got straw. Right, and Is this safe? Three, yes. Okay. Perfectly safe. All right. Dr. Banks, I told him not to go anywhere. We'll keep okay. our fingers crossed. All right. All right. So on three, you're going to try to blow as many bubbles as you can. We're going to see if you or the liquid nitrogen can blow more bubbles. Ready? Go. I guess you won. <laughs> what was I blowing was into? Really soapy good, water? Yeah, that was just soapy water. That and was pretty good, huh? Wow, look at that. And if you feel these, it's frozen a lot of the water and the bubbles are very can crunchy. I, can yeah, I touch? No, put your finger down in there. I don't feel anything because I've got gloves on. Oh, it's there icy kind of. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. This stuff is also very fun because <laughs> we can break things, make them very hard, very brittle. Now, I know you're pretty strong. You work out a lot, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm I've buff. seen you at the gym a few times. Yeah, uh huh, that's right. me. You yeah. should see your bench press. It's amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. Go ahead and break that racquetball for me. Break it, sure, no problem. No, go ahead, break it. Is it that hard? Is it broken already? I can't break this. Of course not. It's rubber, right? Right. Well, again, because this is so cold, it can change the properties of things like rubber. Solids obviously can uh, make water get very, very hard very quickly, freeze it. Exactly. Now, let me see if I can go ahead and break this. Maybe now, can kids do this when they go? Oh, hard as a rock. Well, maybe it needs a little bit more time. Yeah, but we play with this. We do shows and demonstrations every single day. Um, they vary. So you can come to the Science Center seven days a week and see different things every single day. Different shows, different demos. I'll now, you know when you time. do this at... There you go. Look at that. All right, apparently it's not breaking Here, right try, now. Here, try happens. mine. Maybe it's a different... But so kids, when they come, I mean, the, the question that mine would want to do, oh, can we do that? Can we do that? Can they get involved? Absolutely. I mean, so many of the things we have at the Science Center are hands-on, so every kid can come and learn different things. All d different shows and demonstrations are very interactive. We get volunteers to come up, so if you're one of the lucky kids who's real eager and excited to do this type of thing... Um, Raise your hand, and more than likely you can be the one doing the bubble blowing contest. Did that happen to you one day when you were a little youngster? Somebody I, I have to admit, I loved going to the Science Center in my hometown when I was little, and uh, that's definitely one of the reasons why I work there now. And really? You get to do this type of stuff and have fun every single day. And you get to entertain Let's try that one more time. Okay. Right. Oh! But um, what are the marshmallows for before I let you go? Well, Besides it might be a little them. too early to eat marshmallows. See, this would be a problem with but, kids. They'd be wanting to eat them, but that's okay. Do you like marshmallows? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Don't we all? Now those are going to be little frozen little things there. Look at that. Oh, is that, can you do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not like that. Is that the stuff they put in the space program where you, you, they compress it and all that weird stuff? I don't know what you're referring to. Yeah, I know. I don't either. But you want to try, I can't no believe shit. you just ate those. It's safe to eat Absolutely. them? Absolutely. Oh, Nitrogen gas. Can um, I, I can't touch them, right? No. Use your glove. and put this back in here. I the think air I want right to now, try them. The He's, air breathing right now is over 77% nitrogen. So when this stuff warms up, it isn't too cold. It's perfectly safe to eat things that have been in it. The kids must think you are so cool. I don't really want to put this in my mouth. It's freezing. I can feel it through the cold. Come on, eat it. No, I'm not eating. You come in. My glasses keep up. No. I, is it going to make my tongue, like sticking my tongue on a frozen pole? No, because there's very little water in marshmallows, so you don't have that frozen effect. No, mm. it's actually not bad. Mm, it's, <laughs> it's like the opposite of campfire marshmallows, it's like, right? What well, would be a good description? It's like frozen marshmallows, but they're not frozen where you can't break them. Now what are you doing? You're pretty interesting. Can you come back more often? Sure. We can hang out whenever you want. My kids would totally dig this. Do you do birthday parties? Just kidding. The Science Center does birthday parties. There you go. There you go. Yeah. go there. You could do all this fun stuff at the Science Center. In addition to these different shows and demos, we have traveling exhibits. Two traveling exhibits right now at the Science Center. That's right. They are. Uh, the Titanic exhibition and also a dinosaur <laughs> exhibit, which is very, very cool. The dinos are robots. They move, make sounds. Oh. Definitely come and check Kids, it out. Well, I mean, these glasses are not staying on my face. I'm not eating anymore. I ate one. That was good. Now, what are you doing with the balloon here? Oh, look at that. See, the kids, well, you got dinosaurs, you got ships, and you got stuff that bubbles. They'll be so happy. And explosions. Don't forget about that. And the stuff explosions. Up. So, 
Hey, you know what? Spring break's coming up. A great time to take the kids down Absolutely. there. Absolutely. We've extended hours throughout March, from March uh, 8th through 30th. We're open until 8 p.m., so you can come, bring the whole family, have a great time, learn about different scientific principles. Thank you so much. You did a great job. And all of you, I've shared some of my frozen marshmallows so we can all try them. Thanks, Dustin. Good job. And don't forget, if you want more information on the Science Center, just go to azscience.org. There's a phone number on your screen. Your kids will have a blast. Dinos dinosaurs, Titanic happening right now at the Arizona Absolutely. Science Center, plus all this other fun stuff. Thank you again. Coming up next, I feel like.